his campaign stuff, no one ever asks the question of whether surveillance can be authorized without any court order. It turns out that it can be. How? The short answer, Executive Order 12139. Here is more details to help understand how this is possible. The President may authorize, through the Attorney General, electronic surveillance without a court order for the period of one year, provided that it is only to acquire foreign intelligence information, that it is solely directed at communications or property controlled exclusively by foreign powers, that there is no substantial likelihood that it will acquire the contents of any communication to which a United States person is a party, and that it be conducted only in accordance with defined minimization procedures. The code defines foreign intelligence information to mean information necessary to protect the United States against actual or potential grave attack, sabotage or international terrorism. Foreign powers means a foreign government, any faction of a foreign nation not substantially composed of U.S. persons, and any entity directed or controlled by a foreign government. The definition also includes groups engaged in international terrorism and foreign political organizations. 9. The sections of FISA authorizing electronic surveillance and physical searches without a court order specifically exclude their application to groups engaged in international terrorism. The Attorney General is required to make a certification of these conditions under seal to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, 11, and report on their compliance to the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence and the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. Now. Let's look at this little-known and discussed Executive Order 12139 that gives the President just such authority to order surveillance without the court order. The order reads as follows, quote, By the authority vested in me as President by Sections 102 and 104 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act of 1978, in order to provide as set forth in that act for the authorization of electronic surveillance for foreign intelligence purposes, it is hereby ordered as follows. 1101. Pursuant to Section 102A, 1, of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act of 1978, the Attorney General is authorized to approve electronic surveillance to acquire foreign intelligence information without a court order but only if the Attorney General makes the certifications required by that section. 1102. Pursuant to Section 102B of the Foreign Intelligence Act of 1978, the Attorney General is authorized to approve applications to the court having jurisdiction under Section 103 of that Act to obtain orders for electronic surveillance for the purpose of obtaining foreign intelligence information. 1103. Pursuant to Section 104A, 7, of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act of 1978, the following officials, each of whom is employed in the area of national security or defense, is designated to make the certifications required by Section 104A, 7, of the Act in support of applications to conduct electronic surveillance. A. Secretary of State. B. Secretary of Defense. C. Director of Central Intelligence. D. Director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. E. Deputy Secretary of State. F. Deputy Secretary of Defense. G. Deputy Director of Central Intelligence. None of the above officials, nor anyone officially acting in that capacity, may exercise the authority to make the above certifications unless that official has been appointed by the President with the advice and consent of the Senate." End quote. It should be now a matter for legal experts to look into and provide